from Clarkston, Michigan, the greatest city in the world. It's the Jose Aliaga Show. Jose Aliaga knows everyone. Get to know him as he interviews some of the most fascinating people from the greater Independence Township area. And now, broadcasting from the studios at Clarkston High School, the home of the state champion Wolves, here's Jose Aliaga. Welcome to the Jose Aliaga Show. Today we have a special guest. As I promised before, uh, my friend Sensei Rodolfo Aguilar, who was Grace Karate Do. They went to South Carolina, like I told you before. They went for a, a special competition for karate in South Carolina, and they actually brought a medal. And they told us if they win a medal, they're going to be back here in Clarkston. And they delivered their promise. They are here today, and I'm very excited and happy to welcome. Sensei Rodolfo Aguilar, how are you doing? How are you, Jose? Thank you for again for the invitation. And as we told you, uh -huh. if we win a medal, we'll be back. So praise yeah. God, the girls did very well. And they got uh, second place. So. Second place, congratulations. Very happy for you. Very, very happy. So how was the competition? It, it was uh, fascinating, exciting. Uh, 1,700 people registered for the competition. Wow. Wow, and you said complaints, that was yeah. great. Yeah, well, that's by division, that's mm -hmm. by division. So they did Team Kata mm -hmm. at, um, at their age level and, and belt level. Nice. So. so now people are watching at right now and they probably wonder, so what is Grace Karate Do? What, what, can yeah. you tell me? Yeah, Grace Karate Do is a Karate Do organization. Uh, we teach a Japanese Karate Do style Shotokan. Uh, we um, believe that by teaching karate, uh, you help kids to develop uh, discipline, uh, self-control, uh, respect, and many other attributes that are highly needed uh, nowadays in society. Um, learn how to be uh, focused, mm -hmm. how to manage pressure, like uh, this girl went through, mm -hmm. um, which help you to be a better person. On top of that, you also teach them, of course, uh, self-defense. Mm -hmm. You teach them the martial art, mm -hmm. kicking, punching. Um, they also have fun. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, it's just uh, a general knowledge that you teach them how to be better citizens. Mm -hmm. so. And now we have three of your students here. We have, uh, let me see, Victoria, Grace, and Alexa, correct? Mm -hmm. I'm right? So how do you guys get your uh, belt? Do you guys purchase the belt or you went to the store and say, I like this belt? You purchase, or how do you get the belt, Grace? Uh, well, first, mm -hmm. Thank you for letting us come here. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome. It's an honor and privilege. And we get these belts by we, uh, the sensei teaches us a routine mm -hmm. of uh, techniques, mm -hmm. and then we have to present it a special day, and we practice two times or three times a week. Oh, nice. Sometimes more. Mm -hmm. And then we just present them, and um, our sensei senseis, Nice. Are there and they choose the belt that we. Nice. What about to. you? The same thing, or you just go to the store and tell your mom I like the red color and purchase your belt. The same thing. Same thing. You have to practice and pass a test. We earn yep. it. You earn mm -hmm. it. Oh, nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So, now, for people that are watching, before I forgot, that's very important for people because I know a lot of people in Independence Clarkson area would like to have their kids in karate, and you guys do a good job. So. How can people uh, contact you or get, I mean, how they can get more information about you if somebody want to sign up? Well, we are uh, located in Waterford, okay. Michigan. Uh, for some of you who might know, the WCA, the Waterford Christian Association, uh, the one that is located in Crescent Lake Road and M59 mm -hmm. by Kroger. Mm -hmm. uh, we are inside of that building. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been there for the last uh, three years. Mm -hmm. uh, the address is actually right now in the screen. Oh, right there in the screen. Okay, the address is right there. Okay. I see, yeah. right there. So, like, yeah. That is a location that belongs to a Mount Zion okay. uh, church. 
Okay. Uh, we are members of Mount Zion. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they have been very nice with us to rent us that place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a phone number? Like if somebody wants to call you? Actually, they do. That's my personal cell phone number, 248-807-1974. And uh, also my email, which is Rodolfo Aguilar mm -hmm. U at gmail.com. And you can contact, contact me there. We also have a website. Mm -hmm. What's uh, the website? Which is uh, in Facebook. Mm -hmm. It's also in this uh, Facebook.com, Grace Karate Do. Mm -hmm. And also, some of you who have Instagram, look for Grace Karate Do, and you will find it. Very simple. Mm -hmm. We try to make it simple. And what are the ages? Like, like I see, uh, Grace is really young. And I mean, how is the minimum requirement of that age? Right now, uh, I have focused on teaching kids from five years old to 17 years old. Okay. Uh, I, I have a passion for teaching those kids since the time that they go to kindergarten until they are ready to go to college. Oh, That's nice. what I have passion to. Um, in some cases, if some of the people of the age want to talk to, they, they want to be trained, they can contact me as well. Mm -hmm. But that is the, the, the group that we're teaching right now. And what about the uniforms? You, you, uh, people when sign up uh, have to purchase uniforms with you? Or? Yeah, they go there and they can purchase in any other places. Uh -huh. um, but I offer them the same thing that we are wearing. Mm -hmm. So we are offering uh, two classes for free. They could come and uh, if they like it, um, then they can register. We are going to be registering uh, people the week of the uh, 21st of uh, August, mm -hmm. and we're going to start classes back in September the 4th. Right now, we're on vacation. Nice, nice. So can you tell us a little bit about your accomplishment, like the last competition you guys win? Can you tell us a little bit about it? Probably people are curious to know more about I'll, I'll tell you, but also I want to let, let the girls to talk about it. Sure. Uh, we've been training a lot for this. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, this is my uh, highest level group in, in the dojo. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been training officially over over three years, but before that I was training with my daughter for mm -hmm. a year, so almost four years in total. And this last year, um, we wanted to go to national. Mm -hmm. So we took that challenge and uh, we have uh, people in Michigan who help us, mm -hmm. Sensei Morris, okay. Lawrence, uh, he's from Ann Arbor. Mm -hmm. And also we brought a Sensei from Venezuela who was helping us, Sensei Guerrero. Mm -hmm. And uh, we focus on training and this girl was training uh, basically uh, four or five times a week. Uh, mm -hmm. There are some pictures in, oh, this, nice. in, in that we wanted to show sure. that uh, we even the put them, there? we even put them to train at the lake, mm -hmm. and also uh, to have fun, but also to make it uncomfortable for them, mm -hmm. because they were going to experience pressure, uh, having so many people watching them, and so uh, I like even then to say uh, how the experience was, because th that is that is what this is about mm -hmm. to expose kids to difficult situations mm -hmm. safe, mm -hmm. therefore they can grow and mature. Mm -hmm. so. so, Victoria, how you enjoy your trip? To uh, it was it was a very long trip. That's really? The first, yeah. So, when you went to the competition, you feel intimidated? Or? No, 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 no. No, you, I, you were ready was, to go. It was like when we first walked in, it was like amazing. It was like humongous. It's like it was like a basketball court and so many mats on the ground. It was it was very pretty. Oh, nice. Lots nice. of lights. So you did have the training that you got previous oh, to? Oh, it, it like, yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of, it was hard work. Because we have the same mats, so, yeah, yeah. so it helped us. Yeah, lot. because for, a, I mean, what I understand is tons of people there, and a you lot feel of like, people. you know, you look around, and that intimidates. It does intimidate. Yeah, but we, we try, we try not to, like, look at people, mm -hmm. like, while they're doing their mm -hmm. kata, we have, mm -hmm. we tell ourselves, and my uh, sensei tells us, don't even try to look at them. Oh, really? Just look straight. Oh, okay. Look I thought that was Alexa, because Alexa usually don't look around, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Alexa, how you feel? Get the silver medal? And I feel good. It was really fun. Oh, it was fun? Yeah. Nice. So, so now that you see that you went through this, do mm -hmm. you think that was worth it, all the training that we, went, <laughs> we put you through? Yeah, <laughs> yes. You feel like it? Yes. Alexa? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad. So, so who, who st when you went to the competition, who started first there? You did start first, or? Well, oh, no, we, we were a team. Yeah, a we team, went as, as a team. team. Oh, okay. We weren't that like uh, nervous because, like, we didn't have to go alone first. We went as a team first, so we were like yeah. all together because we also went yeah. as a team and individual. Mm -hmm. But 
first we went as a team. So, yeah. so we just got over the... And it's always Grace, the one that talks a lot, or? <laughs> no? Oh, I yeah, have Victoria. <laughs> I see. So with this accomplishment, what is the next step? Well, now the next step is uh, we want to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been quietly not saying anything for the last three years. Uh, people have been telling me, you should show this more to people. I said, uh, let me first, let me first uh, mm -hmm. set the, the foundation. So now we believe that we're ready to show this to more people. And uh, we believe that we have something that is very good for the community. Mm -hmm. uh, we would like to welcome them. We know now the process mm -hmm. from beginning white level uh, to get them to a national level. Mm -hmm. And we're excited about it. So mm -hmm. next step is uh, I know that they told me that they want to compete and win individually. Mm -hmm. So they are going to start to focus now on doing Qatar individually, not as a team. Nice. Because they, they saw that uh, there is an opportunity for that as well. Yeah. Nice. So nice. also I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to, uh, to there, there is a section that you could uh, uh, compete as a family. Mm -hmm. So I might practice with them and maybe do a family <laughs> uh, event. So. Oh, nice. Really nice. Very nice. Again, I would like to show the contact info because I know people that are watching right now would like to uh, sign up. We have the website, right? That this is the Yeah, they can number. contact me. They could call me at or text me at my cell phone number, 248-807-1974, or they could email me at uh, rodolfoaguilaru at gmail.com. Uh, they could send me an, uh, a message through Facebook. Uh, mm -hmm. Facebook.com uh, slash Grace Karate Do. Mm -hmm. Also, I have Instagram. Uh, but I am at the WCA. I am a member of Mount Zion Church. So I've been here in mm -hmm. USA for the last 20 years. So, so if some people that are watching it and says, oh, I would like my kid to sign up for this. This looks great. They will be able eventually to participate in some of these national competitions as well? They will, but they have to earn it. Mm -hmm. um, I like I took time to get this girl there because I want them to have a great experience. Mm -hmm. um, it takes a lot of effort to go there and traveling and family commitment. So they could be competing at some local level, mm -hmm. but to go to a national level, I, they first have to show that they are ready for that. I see, I so, see. But the opportunity is there. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So Alexa, you did work hard too, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm very happy because when I see you before, it was like a couple of weeks before you guys went to the nationals. I mean, you guys were exciting and, you know, I was thinking, I was thinking oh, wow, I hope they can bring a medal because <laughs> I want to see you back. And you guys did. I mean, you guys had silver medal. That's impressive. Yeah. Very impressive. Is the first medal you guys win to, as a group or? No. no. Oh, you already won too many. Yeah, but we didn't win any yet. We haven't, this is our first time going to nationals, mm -hmm. but we've won medals before, but not nationals. Yeah, they have won medals before individually, okay. but also as a team, they won uh, when they were Qualified. uh, qualifying to go to national. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been training as a team mm -hmm. uh, for the last, uh, maybe about five months? Five months. Mm -hmm. As a team, kata, but individually, every one of them has different amount of years. Mm -hmm. And what is the issues that you usually get m more people? Like you said, you uh, have to I, do five I, I to see that I see that basically around the eight to twelve is eight where people 12. are coming. Okay. But um, uh, there are I have some students who started with me when they were five. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So oh, wow. today they are about eight years old. Um, okay. I started to teach uh, Victoria when she was about seven years old. Uh, Grace when she was about she's now ten, about five, oh, four, okay. six years old. But little by little. That's how I started. I only wanted to teach them. Mm -hmm. But then some people started to tell me, why don't you show, show this to other people? Mm -hmm. And I know it's a lot of work, but finally uh, one of the pastors of the church convinced me about doing that. Mm -hmm. And praise God, now we are uh, over 20 people. We have a dojo. Mm -hmm. We have a beautiful facility, and we're excited. And mm -hmm. We would like to invite people to come and join us. So. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Well, um, before we finish, uh, I would like again to show the, the contact information from uh, Sensei uh, Rodolfo Aguilar. Yeah, they can, you can contact me mm -hmm. at 248-807-1974, 248-807-1974. That's my cell phone. You can text me. You can call me. Or you could um, uh, leave me a voicemail. Um, you could send me an email at RodolfoAguilarU at gmail.com and I will 
contact you as soon as possible. Great. And everyone, again, this is a great thing for your kids, I think for our community, to, sell, uh, to teach discipline, and it's good to learn uh, martial arts. I think it's wonderful to have in our community. They have a great accomplishment, and it's local. So it's always good to support our local businesses and uh, support our community, our kids. And thank you so much for what I do for our community. And congratulations again, again for to bring the silver medal to our community. I thank mean, you. it's a great accomplishment because it's, you know it's what's in the national, you know. And you guys are local. I'm very happy. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much. And hopefully, I can see you again. Maybe you know in the future you bring me more medals here, and we can share Amen. many other stories. Amen. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you. Appreciate that. That was all for today. And that if you want to be in the Jose Aliaga Show, you can contact us on, the, on our Facebook, the Jose Aliaga Show, or you can call us too at 248-736-7163. And that was all for today. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Adios. Bye-bye.